Hello everyone, my name is Sick, and welcome back to my Permadeath playthrough for SWAT4 running the Elite Force mod. Now uh, this is a bit of a different intro for now because I have switched over to a new version which is version 6 and many new things have been added including um, iron sights. That's going to be very interesting because I haven't actually used this yet so this will be interesting to see in the game. But if you want to have access to this, and we're going to go through all the major features in just a moment, um, what you need to do is you need to go to the Discord channel, which is um, SWAT4, or it's called SWAT4 at the moment, but you can find it at mod, the ModDB website page. And then you go to SWAT Elite Force, which is uh, one of the side channels. You go up to pinned messages, and right there you can find a link to the download for the new version. Alright, so let's go through this stuff right here. So first person improvements. By hitting the zoom key you will transition into iron sights. That's going to be very interesting. Uh, light sticks are thrown like grenades now, so I guess you have to um, put them in a slot or they are in a slot by default, not entirely sure. You can chuck them across the room or drop them at your feet. And previously you would press the L button and they would just drop them at your feet, basically. Um, tactical equipment now shows how many items you have left on the HUD, so you're never left guessing. This is very useful, very useful indeed. Um, some changes have been made to equipment. For example, the breaching tab has been removed and a sixth tactical slot has been added. So the tactical slots are basically where you equip your grenades and things like that. C2 is now considered a tactical piece of equipment, so it can basically counts like um, a flashbang. But of course, um, it's C2, so you know it still fulfills its purpose. It's just found in a different place now. And the breaching shotgun is a weapon. The breaching shotgun will breach a door 100% of the time, unlike other shotguns where this chance is a random. Right. We have new silenced versions of base game weapons like the M4A1, UMP, and the G36C. More weight and bulk, but won't tip off suspects in adjacent rooms when fired. We also get a new weapon, which is the M1 Super 90, which was apparently cut from the original game. And we have three packs of wedges, flashbangs, CS gas, and stingers. They have three tactical items with the equivalent weight and bulk of five of those items. Oh, that's interesting. So you can bring more, but they'll weigh more than the actual amount of items that you're taking. But this could be very interesting indeed, especially the wedges. I think this will be worth it taking along. Uh, let's see. All shotguns now have frangible breaching ammo, which doesn't ricochet or over-penetrate a door. That is interesting. I have no idea what frangible breaching ammo is, but if somebody can enlighten me, please do. Um, the gas mask is now called the respirator and no longer restricts field of view. That is awesome, because that was actually one of the things that I did not particularly like in any game really that has gas masks and I, I, I understand the purpose behind the gas mask and why it restricted the field of view I just feel you know, because in real life if you would wear a gas mask it of course it does restrict your view um, and I guess they wanted to simulate that and they do want to do this in many games um, but the thing is in first-person shooters you already don't have uh, the, the view or the field of view that you do have in real life. Like, I don't know the exact numbers, but I think, you know, in real life you have a peripheral vision, which is, you know, the stuff you see in the edge that is not in focus, but you're still aware of. Like, you might not be looking at a person directly, they might be off to your right, but you see them, you, you know, you, you see their basic shape moving along. You know, it attracts the attention of the eye. You don't have that in video games at all. So you're view is already very much restricted compared to real life and then when you restrict that even more um yeah it just doesn't feel right for me all right a new gas mask the s10 helmet has been added interesting all right another big thing command interface overhaul that is really really big because one of the best things about swat4 is the command interface we have several new commands which is search and secure secure all Restrain all and disable all. That's quite a few different things. Let's see. Secure all, restrain all, and disable all commands. Order your squad to search the entire map. Oh, wow. All right. 
Well, that's really useful at the end of a map. We have search and secure. It combines restrain all and secure all. Right, so securing all is, I guess, weapons and drugs and things like that. Restrain all would be, you know, putting handcuffs on all the bad guys. And disable all, I guess, would be to disable all the door traps, I think. Let's see. Oh, note, secure all will not look for drug bags until the mission is complete. This is so your team will not rush to secure mission objectives that are across the map. All right, cool. So this is going across the entire map, not just the room that you're in. As an important thing to remember, because I would have definitely used this, and well, that would have fucked up my permadeath playthrough. <laughs> um, let's see, the light stick commands got moved back to the deploy submenu, and all of the deploy commands were reorganized based on how frequently they are used. Interesting. Um, the classic command interface, CCI, has had all of its commands reorganized to play better. So, ooh, we're going to have to get used to this. More AI improvements. High-skilled suspects are much more dangerous. All right. Um, enemies have figured out how to equip heavy armor. Your AP rounds will be very important. Damn it. Um, I heard a motorcycle go by. I have my window open, so you might have heard. Let's see. Uh, menu improvements. The main menu now has a link to Discord and the wiki and shows the mod version. The join game menu now won't show duplicate servers. You can now apply a tab or a whole loadout to another officer, another team or elements. And you can now vote in multiplayer to end the current map. All right. And all changes. Well, there's quite a lot of them. I'm not going to go through all of this. But you can find the link to um, the general overview. Well, up here, but it's hard to copy and paste. <laughs> you can find it on the Discord channel as well. All right. So, let's jump into the game. All right. So, now that we're in the game, we're going to be playing through the Victory Imports Auto Center. And unlike what I did for my last playthrough, I won't be listening to the entire briefing. I will just be going through it quickly Central myself. So, we'll turn this off. Um, basic... Objectives are bring order to chaos, rescue all of the civilians, and rescue Gary Altman. So we had two interrupted individuals trying to steal a car. Upon being ordered to surrender, they fired upon the officers and retreated into the main building. Precise numbers are unknown, but patrol reports seeing at least four individuals, all male. They're armed, and we believe some of them have machine guns. All right. Um, in addition, they have a hostage in there with them, Gary Altman. Um, doesn't look like they have body armor, so we'll be just keeping to not um, to our basic loadout, I suppose. And instead of going through the parking area, which is what we did before, I'll be going in through the roof this time. All right, suspects, we have basically no information. As for civilians, we have Gary Altman. Timeline not really important right now, and we get two new shotguns. We have a less lethal Nova and a less lethal M870. All right, so now it's time to look into our changed loadout stuff. Let's see, we want to have a few more magazines, I suppose. As for secondary, I think most of these things have been st have been uh, changed around, so we could take a less lethal shotgun. That could be interesting, instead of the stun gun. But of course, it will add weight and, bu it will add weight and bulk. So this will make me a little bit uh, easier, or allows me to move around a little bit easier. But of course it lacks the range, and actually I've missed this quite a, quite a few times. I am actually tempted to bring along the shotgun, just to see how it, go how it works. Right, so we have beanbags, yeah. As for tactical, we now have six slots instead of the five that we had before. I want to have a flashbang. Let's see, I want to have... Oh, we have this, the three packs, yeah. Alright, flashbangs. I'm not going to take CS gas. I'm going to take three flashbangs. I will take pepper spray. I will take an opti wand. And I will take... Let's see... Uh, C2. I don't know. I might bring a door wedge, I suppose. And then for protection, we have the tactical helmet. Alternatively, we have the respirator. 
which provides us with immunity to CS gas. We have the tactical helmet and basically those two things right now. Light armor, no armor, heavy armor. So basically I have to go through all of this stuff again. But I want all of my guys to be wearing heavy armor. Because this is a primitive playthrough and I don't care if they're slow. I just want them to be well protected. As for blue team, Jackson is going to be taking a respirator and Girard will be taking a respirator as well. But Reynolds and Fields will be taking um, tactical helmets. Alright, as for tactical stuff, let's see. We have flashbangs, yes, gas grenades. We don't really need a stinger grenade. Uh, he will take pepper spray, several flashbangs, C2, yep. That is a lot of C2. Let's see, let's have you bring a free pack of wedges. M7A3, CS gas grenade. Nah. That takes some time to go through all of this stuff. So let me just go through this and then we'll jump into the game. 7 9 Adam, this is Central BCC. Multiple SWAT units responding code 3 to command post at 29th and Arlington. Barricade hostage situation. Right. So I went through all of the stuff that I wanted to go through and I think I've got everybody with the loadout that I want them to have. So yeah. Right. So one thing I want to check out right away is iron sights. If I press Z, ooh, that is an awesome transition. That is really cool. Really, <laughs> really damn cool. Alright, I was expecting some 2D overlay or something like that, you know? But, uh, no, I'm impressed. This is really cool. Element, move up. Check the door. Check right. on it. I think uh, the flashlight changed a little bit as well, and yeah, I locked. can definitely see that it's different from what it used to be before. Alright, now let's see. Investigate. Mirror under the door. Squat with me. Several things are a little bit different, so I have to get back into this and see how everything works. But um, yeah, no suspects visible. We'll do well, I suppose. Let's see. Investigate is at the top now. We have open, which is pick lock. Pick the lock. Get in the we lock. We then have breach. C two in C two in clear. Bang in clear. C two gas clear. Blah blah blah. Shotgun in clear, but nobody has a shotgun, so that's grayed out. We have fall in. Move to cover. Search and secure. It's open. Deploy. All right. I suppose I will lead the way. Fall in and stay close. I'll take point. At your back, sir. I don't like this part of the map because it's kind of hard to oversee. We have an open area to the front. We have a staircase to the right. And then we also have a hallway over to the right here as well. Get down! Which is hard to contain. Shoot them! <laughs> that guy is running. Red, hold what you've got. Provide cover. I'm on it, boss. Ah! Blue team. Police! Put your, your hands Watch up! Out! Run! Oh hands crap! Suspects Suspects Put your this hands up! Guy on the run. Ah! This is entry team. This ain't Suspect working. down and secured. Have the EMTs ready. All right, Copy. Well. <laughs> we'll be ready. Entry team to talk. There's a down suspect here. Blue Copy. team. Continue Secure him. Ah! Got it. All right. Two guys down. You'll be fine. No threat. Hands Don't in let the them air. Get down. Hey guys, they still out there? Talk. On the ground. Down. Down. Civilians. Oh, crap. Get down. They're here. Police, get down now. Oh Jesus. Well, that was shit. Just Don't close shoot. Enough. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. Put your hands up and get down! Shit. Regroup. Be ready to move. <laughs> Understood. Oh, please go this way. Following. With you. Yes, good. Alright. Zip him up. Copy. On Take clear. him into custody. Well, Red Team seems Next to have the staircase contained. What the hell? Entry team. Hands in the air! Civilian get down! Ready to evacuate. <laughs> Regroup and stand by to move. I'm Drop your weapon! Get those hands up! Get it! Police! Ooh. Put your hands up! Oh. I should be careful with this because people can still die. 
Bad guy spot. Hands in the air. Get down Ooh. there and show me your Stop. hand. Ooh. Cuff that clown. All right, on it. But I'm almost through the ammo for my last lethal shotgun, so I should be careful about you don't how scare I me. stop. This was or how I use anywhere. this stuff, basically. All Gold, right. regroup. Be ready to move. Let's have everybody regroup on me. And so far we've sustained no injuries, so I'm pretty pleased about that already. I care more about my own well-being at this moment than I care about the well-being of the suspects. In position. Of course, both are important because if I kill too many suspects, my score is going to suffer and then I will still lose the mission. That would be bad. But um, dying would be worse. <laughs> right, so we have a door and I know that this leads to the garage. Yep. We have one suspect for sure. I definitely want to have my team breaching this thing. And since the suspect is off to the left, we will use simply a C2 and clear. Get we will not use there. a flashbang. I got it. But this is a bad place for Deploying my team to stack C2. up. So I don't want them to waste time throwing flashbangs and being exposed. There's not a whole lot of room for them to hide from you know, enemy fire. So. Contact. Move it! Go! 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 go. Clear so far. Police! Get down now! Don't Don't suspect down. Police! Put your hands up! On the ground! Area clear! Suspect's out of range. What next? Clear. 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 Behind me. Well, behind you. I'm curious why they shot that suspect because I got his weapon away from him. Maybe he had a secondary that I didn't know about, but I don't think that he did. Zip him up. Right on. Well, this was uh, my guy shooting him, so it is a um, a justified kill at least. Shouldn't count negatively Where's my towards my well, lawyer? The not so guy. negatively towards my score. Fall in on me. On my way. In position. All right, actually, we should probably uh, wedge one of these doors. Well, this seems to be pretty clear. Wedge that. I don't so want any will, surprises. We will put a wedge here on that. Go. Meanwhile, I'm going to check out this door over here. I'm really interesting are interested to know why they shot that one door guy. Is wedged. Right, we have an open door to the left, another opening to the left. I see a downed person. Fall in and stay close. I'll take point. The, behind the Understood. car. Following. I see in the position. <laughs> Run! God damn it. Suspect what? Leads the down. Suspect's out of range. Drop your weapon what? next. What? Damn it. Oh. Damn it! I killed myself with a flashbang. What the hell? I, of course, I, I know that um, <laughs> the flashbangs can kill from up close, but I figured I would throw that thing over the van. You know, I figured that would happen. That would that would be okay. I didn't know it was going to bounce off like that because it seems like they kind of changed the. Maybe I've misremembered because it's been a while since I played, but damn it. I thought I could pull that off. Fuck. Well, that's unfortunate. We're going to have to start a new career for Permadef later on because, well, five missions won't do and we were doing pretty well. <laughs> All right, so that's it for this video. Please leave a like and a comment below if you enjoyed this content and wish to see more of this stuff again. Of course, this campaign is now ended. Sadly, but I will see you guys for whatever video I do next.